trips me out. It's tripping. Welcome to episode 43, Average Bros Fantasy Football Podcast. Dude, I gotta get better at these fucking rhymes. I'm not very good at you it. You should write these rhymes down. <laughs> take, actually, and then take just call, some... call it a freestyle, but be on your phone. <laughs> freestyle, but yeah, like... <laughs> that, that is funny whenever you see those guys uh, doing their freestyles yeah. uh, at those on those like radio shows. You're, I always think to myself, I'm like, dude, there's no fucking way that's, that's a freestyle. Yeah. Like, you can really hear it. You're like, dude, th- okay, you just like made a political statement that actually made a lot of sense in a rap that you just came up with off, off the top of your head and it all rhymes that's yeah. smarter than you sounded the last 10 minutes in the right. <laughs> right right yeah like you couldn't even string a sentence together that didn't rhyme or they'll have their phone right here and they're like free stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like what the fuck yeah i never believed that on us yeah, uh, but yeah, hey, listen, we're just get, this is a quick one, a little turbo episode. This is a freestyle episode. This is a freestyle episode, turbo freestyle episode. Uh, me and Anthony are gonna go. I thought this was gonna be a solo apps episode. I'm I thought I was gonna be a little ronery, but you know what? I wasn't. I'm here. Anthony was able to just get up real quick and uh, help me out cover this yeah, Pittsburgh my, Steelers game my tonight. Can wait. Yeah, honestly, you, dude. You wait. Frick him. Dude, this thing gets 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 the peas going, but uh, episode forty three, Average Bros Fantasy Football Podcast, uh, we're here for you. Now, we just want to get into this game uh, real quick before we start. I'm going to tell you guys go to our YouTube, and we're trying to really promote push our YouTube a little bit more. Uh, we got full YouTube or video format, so you can see us in the action, looking at the stats, putting them together. Give us a subscribe on our YouTube. Just Google or uh, just search uh, Average Bros Fantasy Football and we'll be, we'll pop right up. It's a red and yellow. You'll see us. Uh, you'll see our logo. And also leave us a review on Apple Podcast app. That really helps us out or whatever app you use. Give us a rating. That'd be great. All right. Let's jump into it, baby. Let's do it. Uh, what? We, so we got the Steelers playing the Browns. Uh, the Brown, it's actually, it's in Cleveland. The Browns are actually fla- flavored by two and a half points. Ooh, it's uh, a lot of flavor. Yeah, a lot of flavor. Is there really flavor no, in Cleveland? Flavor. <laughs> I don't think they've ever had a Mexican restaurant in Cleveland. Now, because I feel like Mexican restaurants have a lot of flavor. I don't know. That didn't make much <laughs> sense. But uh, I was trying to think when I was there, I was like, was there a Mexican restaurant? I don't think so. <laughs> I think if you go and get, they're like, yeah, go get tacos. I'm not getting tacos in Cleveland, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like when I was in New York, didn't have any when I was there. I was like, dude, how's there no like, Mexican restaurants in New York? It's like you get a cheesesteak in Philly, not in California, you know what I mean? You know what you mean? You get tacos in California, but whatever. Uh, so Cleveland's fa- favored by two and a half points. Uh, it's in Cleveland, and the over under is 40, one of the lower over unders in this game. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty defensive game. And you know what? If I was a betting man, I, and this might sound like a homer pick, but I would bet the Pittsburgh Steelers because everybody is saying that the um, Browns are going to win this. And usually when every everyone unanimously thinks that a team's going to win, it usually is the opposite. Don't you agree? Yeah. Thursday night games, are, like I said last week, it was it had nothing to do with like teams. I was like, I'm taking the Raiders. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Especially Thursday night games. Doing the same thing, but it's Pittsburgh. like it's like the Browns win two games, and then they believe that they're all of a sudden got their shit together. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but we'll get into that. Uh, what side of the ball you want to start on, the Cleveland or uh, the Dookie side? The Dookie side. The Browns side. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were speaking disrespect yeah, was, on my name, dude. Disrespecting the Steelers, bro. They got uh, I fuck with them. You got what? They have Minka. I fuck with them. Yeah, yeah. I know. How fun is that to watch Minka actually? Like, and oh, it's not fun at all. Well, well. <laughs> I guess yeah. That, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, uh, Cleveland side Baker Mayfield. I'm I'm staying away from him still. Like we, we you know, Tyler's buttered up. Uh, one touchdown, no more than one touchdown in any game, and still hasn't looked good. It's you know the ground game with Kareem Hunt, uh, Nick Chubb. That's kind of their. Their money maker, you could say at this point. If Freddie, if Freddie Kitchens is smart, he will run the ball in this in this game. Yeah, uh, staying away from Baker, uh, Nick Chubb. You're still starting out there. Kareem Hunt. Uh, Hunt what would you say, Mike? He had 50 percent of snap, 55 percent of snaps. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think it was. Um, shit, I just had it up. But uh, it's a it was 
Uh, I got fuck, it. Kareem Hunt had 11 snaps and. He had 50, 54% of snaps. Nick yeah. Chubb was still at 81. So Nick Chubb was actually. The main guy. It didn't affect him at all. They basically used both of them, like we were talking about, where they could use both these guys. Well, I mean, if you have a quarterback that's struggling as much as Baker Mayfield is, that you get another, another like, Pro Bowl uh, running back, I'm going to be throwing them out there just as much. I'm going to be running the shit out of the ball, you know? Yeah, I mean, seven receptions last week, week for Kareem Hunt. Four carries. He's not. I think it's gonna it's gonna stay the same for that that ground game workload. You might see five anywhere from four to seven carries for him on a given week. Right. But uh, you like to see the seven receptions. So someone you can definitely PPR type of flex as a running back. I mean, if you're getting six seven receptions on a PPR form as a running back, that's that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. That's like Alvin Kamara, yeah. old Alvin Kamara. <laughs> um, sure. Odell. I mean, it's uh, I'm still starting Odell. The three weeks straight of fi- uh, five receptions, fifty yards plus. I know it's not the Odell, Odell games you expect, but uh, given the matchups, the Steelers, they're still a tough defense, but they don't have anyone who can uh, – they don't have an elite corner to kind of shut him down, which he's been facing some tough – you know, Buffalo had uh, – they have Tredavious White. New England has Gilmore and uh, – forget the other corner's name. Uh, Denver, you have Chris Harris and uh, – I'm drawing blanks with the corners right now. But, yeah. Um, you, you basically had some sh- shut-down corners in a sense, and he was still able to get five for 50. So – uh, I think you know you could see him maybe get over 80 yards and a touchdown this game. Uh, so actually, Joe Joe Hayden, cornerback on the Steelers, uh, is actually questionable. He's been sick this week, so um, interesting for the wide receivers. Yeah. on on uh, the Browns for the Browns, and then you can still start Jarvis Landry this week. Uh, but you look at those guys as like wide receiver threes, right? Or, yeah, or, I mean, Jarvis Landry a, might what, be higher, but I'd actually put Odell higher than Landry this week, even though it really? is with the slot, um, giving up a lot of uh, the Steelers give like the most points to the slot receiver. I just think this is a matchup where he can take advantage of. Yeah, it, there's just not a corner there that's going to be able to contain him in a sense. Where he's been th- like him and Baker have been thrown into some tight windows, and I think if he sees another 12 target game like he did last week. He's going to be above 80 yards, probably seven catches and a touchdown. So I, I just kind of like him more as a wide receiver too this week. Yeah. And I haven't been very optimistic on him in a lot of weeks, but this is one week where I think he can go out and um, have an above average week. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm more fading Odell. I think if anybody, I'm playing Jarvis Landry, but either what, I think that they're going to try, really you try and run bed, the ball. Landry versus Odell? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's just, in my opinion, yeah, I think, I don't know, man. I just think that the the what they're the game script, what they're gonna try and do to the Steelers defense is they're gonna run the ball a shit ton, and I just don't think with a forty point over under that these receivers are gonna really get a lot. But if I think anybody Jarvis Landry, but we'll find out. It's and neither it's here nor there. Uh, any tight end eight hours. In- <laughs> right. Any tight end info uh, you want to give on the Brown side? Uh, I mean, watching Joku, I think he's working towards coming back. Yeah, could be a late season type of guy, but uh, the way Baker's playing, yeah. I mean, that's kind of been his guy, but yeah, you know, I I got you though. Uh, Brown's defense, it's an okay start, middle of the road. Uh, yeah, I think with both these defenses, it's not bad because both of these quarterbacks really like to throw the ball to the wrong team. You know what I mean? Uh, Mason Rudolph just is not very accurate. It's kind of the same thing on both sides of the ball. They're both like, okay, well, maybe we should run the ball more. <laughs> They're like, maybe we shouldn't have be throw, doing all these passing plays. The less we throw, the better. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's – exactly. So, uh, yeah, I would be uh, – I, I don't mind – either one of these defenses to be honest I had a sneeze I was like oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, both these defenses are, I, I think you can you can play this week if you're streaming yeah uh, well Mason obviously Ru- Steelers but yeah Mason Ru- yeah obviously. Mason Rudolph you're not playing no uh, we, we, I know we usually go in order but like you said Steelers defense are starting no brainer yeah uh, James Conner is uh, trending towards playing I mean if he's out there you're, you're starting James Conner yeah uh, yeah, he should he should be playing. He it, he's not listed with the uh, injury. Yeah, I was lo- I was like low key looking and like he was like a uh, actually it's right here. Luckily, well on a points per game basis, James Conner was actually he was kind of like a top. Where is he at? Thirteen point seven. He's 
like a top one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's a, like number eight running back on a points per game basis. Right. I know it yeah. doesn't sound like it. Like like he's. It's just because he's been he's been out. He's not been playing, so it's like yeah. you you forget about him. It's like kind of like when Tevin Coleman went out and then he came back, and all of a sudden you're like, oh fuck yeah, this is you know. Yeah. People kind of slept on him. It's a little bit lower in half point PPR. That was standard, sorry, but still a top fifteen like in points per game basis. Yeah. Um. What is James Conner? Uh, Juju, uh, you playing him this week? I mean, I think it's. I'm not. It's kind of. Uh, I think you. I think you said it off air, but you can look at maybe Juju as a wide receiver three. Um, that being said, before you when you set your lineup th- with these guys, because there is kind of like a good amount of offensive guys that you might be pl- you might be iffy about playing. If you have say like a qu- if you're playing Juju this week and you have a questionable wide receiver, switch. Put Juju in as your wide receiver spot and put uh, that questionable receiver into your flex spot that plays on Sunday because you just don't want to get stuck having to play like uh, a shitty wide receiver or you can flip, throw in like a backup running back or something last minute. So if you have anybody in your flex spot that's playing tonight, switch them out into your running back or wide receiver spot. You know what I mean? Agreed. <laughs> You look like you got that blank stare right now. I'm curious what's going on. I was like, it's Tyler's notes. Um, Um, Yeah, wide receiver three. What that basically means when we say wide receiver three, if you're like, what do they mean by wide receiver three? It's like we're saying he's outside of the top 24. It's basically every receiver range is like a top 12. So if you have like two top 24 receivers, like if you have like um, Chris Godwin and um, Kenny Galladay. Those are bets. Basically, a wide receiver one and then a wide receiver two. Right. And then what Juju, we were saying, is like a wide receiver three. So we're saying, like, he's kind of in the wide receiver three. He's like outside the top 24 plays. Right. Which is so crazy where he got drafted. God. Yeah. What a bummer. Um, he hasn't had a game above 10 targets all year, which is kind of surprising. But they, I mean, we just don't, like, ever since ben, Ben's been gone, it's like yeah. if we're just not throwing the ball. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying it's just still interesting that yeah. they don't even try and, like, force feed him. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm surprised you haven't seen a game where it's, like, 15 targets for Juju. Even if it was only, like, six catches for right. 70 yards. It's just Like, they're not even, like, te- Juju's technically the wide receiver one. I yeah. mean, he is the wide receiver one there, so it's, like, it, you're right. It is crazy that they're not targeting him yeah, just over 10. Uh, Deontay Johnson, I'd probably have him as, like, a wide receiver four play. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wide receiver four play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're in a... Three wide receiver funny. league. I'm laughing at four play. <laughs> oh, oh I'm four a, play. I'm a child still. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, the Vance dance, seven targets last week. Uh, back-to-back weeks with seven targets. Yeah, that's not bad for a tight end. Yeah. The points haven't been there, but the targets have been there. Right. So it's like, I'm okay. Best ability, availability, right? Yeah, tight ends, they suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jo- yeah, so Joe Hayden has, is... <laughs> you got anything else in this matchup? Uh, no. Uh, Chris Boswell playing. I don't know. He's been kicking points. Steelers defense line it up, light it up. Uh, I think yeah. I think if Freddie Kitchens is smart, he'll he'll run the ball. Uh, I think that that's the only way that the uh, the Browns can win this. But yeah, that's it. That's all you got. Yeah, that's all we got, baby. Yeah. Uh, Damn, this is a quick. This is so quick. It's fun. It's a quickie. <laughs> Thirteen minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, it's only one matchup. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we cut. Sometimes when we do these, there's a, we kind of fuck around, mess around. But right now we're straight to the point, bro. We're straight we're, to we're the we're point. We're international baby. business sex therapist. Um. I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget nothing. Yeah. All right, I forgot to tell people that you're horny. What about James Washington, real quick? Uh, he he's been he's been getting targeted more. Yeah, uh, this is no. no, no, not in this matchup. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, this has been the Average Bros Fantasy Football Podcast Turbo episode Thursday night football matchup. Turbo, 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 turbo. Brought to you by. Uh, thank you for listening. We have been here helping you. I could almost call this episode 42 and a half because uh, really, I mean, this is a short ass episode. Um, well, thank you for listening. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll be covering all the uh, Sunday early games uh, in the next episode. 
look out for that. We literally go over every single game, so it's take advantage of this information we're giving out there, okay? Because you don't get it often, okay? Uh, but this has been the Average Bros Fantasy Football Podcast, episode 43. We're out of here, baby. It's like, it's so short, I just want to, I feel like I need to talk more, but there's no, you know, we gave you the info. So there it is.